Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm looking at this monster, and with some of the best Star Wars Black Series figures ever made being released in the last couple of months, including the Star Wars Black Series 5s, as well as Star Killer, I wanted to remake my top 10 most wanted Black Series list, considering that those two were up in the top three. And so because of that, we're going to be completely rewriting our list and going through the top 10 most wanted figures for Star Wars Black Series. Now, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure to go down and hit that like button and subscribe because we're actually doing a Star Wars Black Series Imperial Crosshair giveaway. And so if you do want to enter in that, you do have to be subbed to the channel as well as you have to comment on that giveaway video that will be pinned in the card and linked in the description. And in a few weeks, we'll actually do a random comment generator to pick the winner for that video. But you do have to be subbed, so make sure you are subbed to the channel and on to the number 10 spot. Coming in at the number 10 spot, I actually gave it to Lobot from Empire Strikes Back. Now, Lobot is definitely not an essential character uh, story-wise. He kind of just sits in the background. I don't think he even says a word. He might say one or two lines, but uh, he's, he's not a super important character. But I think he's a pretty cool background quote-unquote alien. Now, I know he's not an alien, but he's one of those background characters that we are kind of missing in the Black series. And uh, he's definitely one of the few Cloud City characters we're missing. So. I think it'd be pretty cool to get him in the line and he would go great with some of the other Cloud City figures we already have. Coming in at the number 9 spot, I actually gave it to the 2005 501st Jet Trooper from Battlefront 2. Now, this one is a pretty unique clone trooper, but I think he's one of the coolest looking clone troopers in all of Star Wars. He is essentially just a 501st trooper, but he does have a few extra pieces like uh, some different shoulder pads as well as an iconic green visor, and this thing looks incredible. It's one of my favorite memories of playing the original Battlefront 2005, and uh, I gotta say, it's just a cool clone trooper design. It's something that I think Hasbro could do really, really well in the Black series, and plus, it would go great in the game and greats line. Next up, coming in at the number 8 spot, is an obscure one, and it's uh, what I would call Jedi Trials Anakin Skywalker, and essentially this is from the 2003 Clone Wars 2D animated series, and it essentially takes place with Anakin doing his Jedi Trials, and in it he had to uh, pretty much get these like super cool blue tattoos, and it looks really, really awesome. I think some of the uh, shirtless molds that Hasbro already has could be easily reused for this, for example, for like the Knight Brother or uh, even one of the Maul figures. They already have shirtless molds and they could easily be reused for this. Just uh, give it a like uh, Anakin Skywalker flesh tone and add on those uh, blue tattoos. It'd be a really cool figure and it's something that's a little bit more obscure. So again, I wouldn't really mind if it's an exclusive or something like that, but it's a cool looking figure and I it's one of my favorite episodes from the 2003 Clone Wars series. So it would, it would be cool to get in figure form and it's definitely on my top 10 list. Coming in at the number 7 spot, I have to give it to Kyle Katarn. If you played any Star Wars video games in the late 90s to the early 2000s, you would have played as Kyle Katarn because he was in literally, like, every single Star Wars game released in between that. He was in like six or seven games, which is kind of crazy to think about, but Kyle Katarn is a gaming legend, and I would absolutely love to see him make an appearance in Black Series form. He is no doubt worth a gaming great spot, and uh, honestly, I really hope they find a way to adapt him into modern Star Wars, because his character fits perfectly in the timeline that the Mandalorian and Ahsoka is setting up right now, and so I'd love to see Kyle Katarn make an appearance, whether he's helping Luke out with his new Jedi temple or going around with Ahsoka. I don't really care, but I would love to see Kyle Katarn make a new appearance back into the canon. And of course, I'd love to see a figure of him in the Black series. Coming in at the number 6 spot, I gave it to Ula. I think we need an Ula in the Black series for several different reasons. For one, she is a super cool background alien that Hasbro kind of doesn't do a lot of in the Black series. TVC has a ton of background aliens, but the Black series only gets a few here and there. And so I think Ula is a little bit more of a... Uh, main character background alien if that makes any sense but she definitely gets a lot of screen time and I think with it being the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi it makes a lot of sense to release a figure of her and plus uh, I think that we're never going to get a re-release of a Hut Slayer Leia and so I think an Ula would be one of the best other options to kind of go in that spot with Jabba the Hutt on display. Coming in at the number 5 spot is another figure from the 2005 Battlefront 2 
video game. And so this figure would be part of the gaming greats line, but it's got to go to the Dark Trooper. Now, of course, we did get the Dark Trooper, a part of the Mandalorian, kind of remixed into live action. And unfortunately, these were robots. These weren't real dudes in suits, kind of like the original Dark Trooper was. And don't get me wrong, I love the design of the new Dark Troopers, but there's something about that classic Stormtrooper armor that just does something for me. I really love how this thing looks. It's like a deep navy blue, and it's super menacing. It's kind of big and bulky. And out of the basement, actually got sent a custom of this, and it looks incredible and ever since I saw this custom I've wanted this figure so much so uh, yeah he's got to be on my top 10 list because he just looks so dang cool. Coming in at the number four spot I have to give it to Revenge of the Sith Palpatine especially in his red robes here that we kind of see with the Mace Windu Palpatine duel. I think this would be super cool and a great addition to the Black Series. It's kind of something that we're missing. There's a huge gap of uh, Revenge of the Sith figures in the line and I mean he's the big bad of the movie and we don't have a figure of him so we 100% have to get a red robes Palpatine. He is definitely like I said towards the top of my most wanted black series figure list. Coming in the number three spot, I have to give it to the Droidica. The Droidica is a super cool character. It's a like a literally a death ball of machinery, and it's something that I think that would translate really well into the Black series. Uh, with with how advanced the articulation and sculpting the Black series has gotten over the last few years, I think that a Droidica could be done very very well in the line. I don't really care if they do the shield bubble or not, but just judging by the like the detail and sculpting that goes into modern Black Series figures, a Droidica would look incredible, and we don't have a ton of Separatist like, figures in the line. We have what maybe a few different repaints of the standard Battle Droid, but that is about it, so I think a Droidica would be a great addition to the collection. Coming in at the number two spot, I have to give it to two different characters, that being Commander Neo and Commander Bakara. So starting off with Neo, I absolutely love the design of this clone. I love the recon helmet that he has. It looks super cool, but for starters, he is one of two Revenge of the Sith clone trooper commanders that we have not gotten in the line yet, and I think we desperately need to close off the Revenge of the Sith clones. Um, and... Neo just looks cool. I'd, one thing I'd love to get is his speeder bike with it. I think that's pretty iconic to his character in the movie. That's the only time we see him is when he's riding that speeder bike. So I think getting a like $50 set with the clone trooper and the speeder bike would be incredible. And again, he's one of two commanders that we don't have in the line yet. And the other one being Commander Bakara. Commander Bakara is another super cool looking clone trooper. I love the design of the outfit. And he is also Kiati Mundi's clone trooper commander, which we are actually just now getting a Kiati Mundi figure. And so because of that, I think uh, it would be great to get his clone trooper commander along with the Jedi at some point. So that's something I want to do with all the Jedis, but this one is definitely uh, an exception just because, again, he's one of the few Return of the Jedi commanders that we don't have yet. And then coming into the number one spot is a super battle droid, and this one actually baffles me that they haven't made it yet. For one, I think, again, the lack of Separatist figures in the line is really disappointing, and I think that we, again, we need so much more Separatist representation, and I think the first place to start is a super battle droid. And then, of course, you add on the advanced sculpting of modern-day Black Series figures, it would without a doubt be one of the best figures in the line, just from a sculpting standpoint. And if you can throw on some kind of, like, gunmetal wash or some really cool paint apps it would be one of the best figures hands down ever made so it's one that I'm really excited for and I really hope they do at some point in the future and it kind of baffles me with the recent appearances in different like new media projects that they haven't made one yet for example it had a big role in Mandalorian season 3 as well as it's shown up in Jedi Survivor so with how much they're showing up in now it like new medias it's I'm kind of surprised that Hasbro hasn't tried to push it a little bit more and get their money's worth out of repaints but anyway that is going to do it for the list if you did enjoy hit that like button and subscribe and if you guys have any suggestions or things you would change to the list let me know down in the comments down below because i'd love to hear your guys' suggestions and if you again haven't checked out the giveaway make sure to go check it out it is linked in the description and uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video